So I've uh, dug this old monitor out from storage. And with old monitors, you may not have the same connections that you do with new monitors. So uh, this one has a VGA connector. That's the, uh, this 15 pin here, the old connector that we used to use. So I'm gonna need my adapter. And this is the adapter that I use. And uh, on this end, it's a mini display port, which goes into my laptop. And here it has the VGA and HDMI as well. So these adapters will allow you to connect a number of different types of monitors or uh, even TVs to your laptop. So we'll go ahead and connect this up to the laptop. So we have the monitor connected now to the laptop and I have my PowerPoint presentation up. Now, one of the things is, is we need to arrange the monitors in Windows the same way that they are physically on the space so that that's not gonna be confusing when we present. So you notice my cursor, if I move it off the right side of the laptop screen, it comes up on the left side because Windows thinks the monitor is on the right side, but I need to tell it it's on the left side. So if you see exactly the same thing on both of your monitors, then you might be in duplicate mode. So in Windows, what you want to do is to press Windows P and it will bring up the arrangement, whether they're duplicate or extend. So you definitely want to select extend to make sure that. And then to tell Windows which side the monitor is on, we're going to go into the settings. So we're going to click on our window, go to settings and go to our display settings, our system display settings here. And you notice here, I can just grab monitor two. Now, which one is which? Just click on identify and you'll see the numbers come up on the monitors. So I'm gonna take number two and I'm gonna move it to the left of number one and then apply that. So now you'll notice when I move my cursor off the left-hand side of the laptop screen, it goes to the right-hand side of the monitor. So they're set up the way in Windows, the way that they are physically on the desk. Now in PowerPoint, to make sure I'm gonna use presenter view, I need to check a couple of things. So in slideshow ribbon, set up slideshow, I wanna make sure it's using presented by a speaker full screen, that's the default. And then here, I can set up which monitor I'm using and to use presenter view. So I can do it in this dialog box, or it is right here on the slideshow ribbon. So I can say, yes, I wanna use presenter view and I want to set the monitor. Now it's likely going to use it properly because we've extended it and we've defined which is monitor one and two, but I wanna be explicit about this to make sure that it works the way I expect. So now once I've got this all set, I can just start my presentation, click on from beginning, and you'll notice that I see presenter view on my laptop and I have the slideshow over on the other monitor and that's what I wanna send off to my meeting attendees. Now, the reason I want presenter view on my monitor is because this is where the camera is. So I want people to see me as well in the meeting software. So I've got a Teams meeting running already, but I need to get back to those controls in order to share those slides in Teams. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna use Alt-Tab to move through the open uh, windows until I get to Microsoft Teams. So here we are. And in Teams, I'm going to select sharing. And then it asks me, what do you want to share? And you'll notice on the left side here, I have desktop and it's showing me screen one and screen two. And this screen one is the presenter views. You can see that because that's where my video is. And screen two is the slideshow, which is what I want to share with the attendees. So I'll click on screen two. And now the attendees are seeing my slides and my slides only not my presenter view. So I can now uh, go through my slides and presenter view and I have all of my builds that work exactly the way I expect them to and including my transitions like morph, zooming in and everything works the way I'm, I'm expecting it to do. I get to see my notes of course in presenter view but the audience only sees my slides. And when I'm done, I simply hit uh, escape in presenter view and I can go back to Teams and now stop sharing. Now, if you want, you can stop sharing before you get out of uh, presenter view so that people uh, have a cleaner view and that's up to you whether you wanna do that. 
But that's how we can set up two screens in Windows and use Presenter View in PowerPoint to present our slides where we get to see our notes, but the audience sees just our slides. Now I've connected this with a cable, as you saw at the start, we had a VGA cable. So I connected with a cable. There are many other ways to add a second screen and they will work exactly the same way. Once you've got that second screen attached, then simply follow those instructions about extending it, setting up the monitor arrangements properly so that you can make sure that what the audience sees are your slides and what you see are your notes. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.